hello and welcome back to another episode so i don't know if that's a bug with the replay mod that i use to to record those time lapses or what is going on there but i was getting a strange fog effect while during the dragon fight uh not in my actual client when i was doing it just with the the replay for the time lapse there which is a bit unfortunate because um well the portal that was generated so there's our honey farm over here is our original gateway that was generated when we went out to the end and found our elytra for the first time and the one that was just generated is literally the one right next to our honey farm so well as you guys probably know from the title we're out here to build a copper farm today and I wanted to do the same trick as I did with the, the honey farm over there so we can you know go way out in the void but I don't necessarily want the next gateway right next to our honey farm so I think I'm gonna fight the dragon again and open up another another gateway that's not right next to the honey farm so if like this one generates I'm going to be a sad Pindar. Well, here's another dragon fight. gateway gave me a, a little bit of a heart attack when it first spawned in but there is going to be a, a gateway in between um the new gateway that just spawned in and where our honey farm gateway is uh for those of you who don't know end gateways around the main island here are well i'm gonna say they spawn in a uh, predefined location which gateway spawns in in which order is a random event based on your world seed. The one behind me there, the honey farm, that is due north. It's possible that that end gateway will not always be the second one spawned in. In other words, if I were to hop into a new world and fight the ender dragon, it's possible that that north gateway there here on the, the main end island will not spawn in until maybe the very... The very last one, the 20th gateway. But we got lucky and uh, that spawned in the second time. And I have an Enderman on me. Hi. But we are going to head off to the new gateway. And, um, well, spawn in a new gateway in the middle of the void and start working on a copper farm. So let me um, do a lot of bridging and I'll, uh, I'll bring you guys back when I'm done. Okay, the other side of our gateway here is now prepared. And uh, assuming I did everything right, I should just be able to go through the gateway and we'll uh, end up on the end of our very long leaf bridge. So, why don't we uh, head on up and just go and do it? Doot, doot, doot. This is always a little nerve wracking. Nice. All right. And we can't even see the end islands out here. But if I walk this way, that's when we can start seeing it. I wanted this farm a little bit farther away from even like the outer end islands than I think I have the... Hmm. You know, I don't, I don't think we can see the end islands from the, the honey farm, which is that way, I believe. Or maybe it's that way. It's probably that way, actually. Um, 
but yeah, I think we will uh, start working on the copper farm, and I will clean up all of the the bridging that I did to get out here. So, time for another time lapse. Well, here we are. Copper farm is uh, mostly done. We just need to get some zombies in here now and uh, kind of populate it so that we can start making a whole bunch of drowned and turn this into a real copper farm. So I think that's what I'm gonna go and do shortly is go and grab some zombies. But first, I realized that I uh, haven't given credit in the actual video yet. This is a design by Ian XO4. Um, it's a really, really cool design and it makes use of zombie reinforcements. So I'll be uh, swinging at the armor stand down there, which will be hitting the zombies in the little chamber, like right behind my head with where the two magma blocks are. But I won't be doing a whole lot of damage to them, which will allow them to spawn in more reinforcements. And then at a certain point, we will have like 500 drowned in that one little spot right over there so i think what we have left is to go and get some zombies like i said so let me um go and bring some zombies all the way over here i have as you can sort of see over here started a very long bridge that goes all the way back to the end island as you can see well maybe you can't because uh youtube compression algorithm anyway so i will go and grab all of the zombies and uh we will start this farm up well i have the uh the zombies around here but um well 
One, two, three, four, five, and six of them are off the platform, really. That um, might have been a little bit of an oversight, which means I have four in our little killing chamber. So I think I'm going to give this a whirl and start uh, using the actual farm, and we'll uh, we'll see if it actually. Uh, Gets populated enough, and if not, I might try to rescue some of these uh, some of these zombies. So let's just uh, just give it a whirl and see uh, see what happens. First try with just those four drowned, well, zombies that got turned into drowned, didn't quite work out, and so I had to go and rescue the the six, and uh, as you saw, it um, turned out quite well. That actually uh, managed to populate the farm and got a lot of drowned still up there, so we will uh, we'll continue running this from time to time whenever we need some more copper, and I think I ran it for like 15 minutes, 20 minutes, somewhere in there. And I already have four stacks of copper, which is um, pretty good. Pretty good. I'm quite happy with that. So, I think I will probably run this some more, because I know I want quite a bit of copper, actually. I'm kind of going for a full shulker of uh, copper blocks. Uh, it, it, it's a lot of copper. It's more than a full double chest, but it, it's a lot of copper. So I will, I'll be running that from, from time to time. But, I do think it's time that we uh, start looking to start another project here. As you might remember, we built this raid farm a couple episodes ago. And one of the reasons why I wanted the raid farm is because uh, we actually kill a fair amount of witches in this farm. And witches drop redstone. And I have a, um, a large need for, for redstone, but I'm not getting enough from here. I'm getting an incredible amount of emeralds and then just a smattering of like all of the other witch drops. So I think it's time that we, uh, we cut out the middleman and just go and build a witch farm. So I have a spot picked out. It's, uh, I don't know, kind of a random location at the moment. But uh, why don't we head over there and we can start setting up a witch farm.
Ranch Farm is done now, and obviously I'm down here with the, the storage area, where I have also added a portal. I did take down the portal that was in just that random tree over there, but uh, I, I think this will work out better, because I'll end up coming here for the, the drops anyway, and then I can just head right through the nether. For those of you who don't know, witches drop a total of seven different items, but I have eight chests here because that is the likelihood of their drops. Um, they will drop, for example, spider eyes like one eighth of the time, and they will drop sticks two eighths of the time. Yeah, so that's why I have two slices for sticks, and then one slice for everything else. The items that they are able to drop are spider eyes, sugar, glowstone, gunpowder, redstone, glass bottles, and then sticks. So a lot of stuff that we need for potions. So, um... I suppose before I get much farther, I should say that this is a design by Logical Geek Boy. Um, his tutorial for this farm is actually for a looting witch farm. But instead of uh, sending all of the, the witches up into the sky where the player is, I decided just to uh, kill them with uh, entity cramming. Which is what uh, I have set up over here with all of the... Um, minecarts. So, I think what we can do is turn on the farm, and then we can head up to our AFK spot. So if we head way up here, and uh, I did, um, I did miscalculate how far up this needed to be. I had it a couple blocks higher, and the witches were despawning before they hit the minecarts. Whoops. Anyway. So. I am up and I have cleared all of the land around the witch farm enough so that when I'm standing up here, the only places that are able to have mobs spawn is in the witch farm itself. So. If I drop all the way down there, we should see witches spawning at a pretty good clip here. Yeah, look at that. There's, what, 12 witches in there at the moment? And we just have a flying machine that just pushes them off of the platform. Then the flying machine returns, and the witches go down into the entity cramming spot with all of the minecarts. And all of their drops get filtered into our storage area. And yeah, I am hoping that, uh, you know, a couple of overnight sessions will, uh, will get me a lot of redstone. So I'm looking forward to that. So, it probably means that, uh, overnight tonight, I am going to be right here. And I will probably be doing some, some editing before and after. So, well, I guess I'll see you tomorrow morning. All right, it is the next day now in real life. It's been about, say, 14, 12, 14 hours, something like that, since I started an AFK session. And I think we have, oh, that's glass bottles, but we also have a full double chest of glass bottles. Nice. If we ever need a, uh, a restock for a honey farm, we now have a, uh, a source of glass bottles. Nice. And this is almost a double chest. Nice super happy about this um i think i'm gonna need something like six shulkers of redstone dust for an upcoming project and th that might not even be including just regular redstone dust by which i mean all of those six shulkers might go into like pistons and observers and sticky pistons and droppers. Yeah. I've got a big project coming up, but I'm looking forward to it. It'll be a lot of fun. And um, all of what we've been doing for like the last three, four episodes has actually been working towards that.
but we won't be even be able to start a next episode. This is a, a really big step towards that, though. And so, uh, well, I'll uh, keep farming up some more redstone dust. And, uh, well, I'm probably going to call it an episode here. So, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time.